everybody. Can you uh, explain those last two? Yeah, the, uh, both plays, uh, really, they're, they're, they're totally unrelated to each other. I mean, they're two, two totally separate deals. Um, James felt like uh, Dustin called for the ball, but he really didn't. And then he tried to pull it back, and that's why it, was, it bounced to him. Uh, had he not, you know, we could have got just an offside penalty and re-kicked it and been fine. But obviously it turned into a, a bad deal. You know, he got the ball in his hand, and then uh, Dustin, instead of just, you know, throwing a ball at the heels of an uh, eligible receiver, he just tossed the ball out, and we got the intentional grounding penalty. So uh, we turned a bad play into a worse play on that one. Then the next one, uh, uh, the, the whole game he was getting great get off, and I didn't realize that it was um, a key that we were giving off, you know, that, a different key than I thought it was. And, and going back and, and looking at it, it was on me. I mean, I didn't see it during the, during the uh, game, and I missed it, and they got us. And they, it was a good play by him, and uh, we learned from it and we moved forward. Yeah. He left the game was, you know, we weren't sure if he was going to come back. He does come back. Uh, and, you know, on the block he was out there as well. Like physically, how was he? How did you get that yeah. communication? He was, he was fine. He just, uh, you know, when a guy goes off sides, if you think he goes off sides, you need to go all out and just block him. Just block him, you know, singled up. Don't, don't assume that you're just going to get a penalty and, and just let him go. You know, that was our mistake. We just have to block that guy and then let the chips fall where they may, and then we go, and then we move forward. On, on his physical status, I mean, were you able to no, no, that that, that had, no, no, there was nothing. I mean, he was fine. If he's in, if our trainer say he's fine, he, and he's he's full go. Where, you know, that, that had nothing to do with it. Is, is there just one more? I'm sorry. Is there a player? Of, I mean, I know it's a tough guy sport, right? And you want to be out there, and everybody says, "I can go coach, I can go coach," and that's the, kind of the culture of the sport. Is there a time where you, a player, has to be a little more honest and say, "Look, I can't do it." Yeah, I, I you know. I, I mean, if the player is, is – is, if they say he can go and he says he can go, we're going to usually put him in there, you know, and, and go with it. And, I mean, communication is important. If, if he says he can't go, he won't put him in, you know. Yeah, uh, I know. So. I'm sorry. I'm <clears throat> go ahead. Special teams, week-to-week thing. The week before against the Vikings, everything was great. And, uh, but from a consistency standpoint, over the season, where are you with special teams? Uh, it's been a rough year for us. You know, I feel like it's been up and down. Um, you know the return game. You know we've been close, and but it's I've been saying that every week it seems like. So you know we need a breakout game. You know we need a in the return game. Our coverage, I love our coverage. You know kickoff and punt, I think it's doing excellent. Uh, you know and and then it, you know the debacle that happened. It was it was unfortunate. You know and obviously you know in the same phase it, it really hurt the team. I thought, you know and I told the guys this too. I said the offense and defense did enough to win the game. We have to finish that. We have to be perfect. We have to get that job done. That's our job, you know, to get that done. And, and we didn't get it done. So um, you know we hold ourselves accountable, coaches, players, and and and, and certainly uh, Dustin and James. Uh, those guys will get it right. Hey, Dave, I'm sure that you guys practiced the what if something goes wrong on a snap. Sure. What is well, we have a fire call, and it's, uh, you know, we have guys that automatically go out on routes. Uh, but it happened so fast that the surprise of it was the ball was on the ground. And then by the time he picked it up, it wasn't, he didn't see the snap coming and he bobbled it. You know, so it was a, it was a situation where it was uh, hurried up, uh, you, know, you know, a little bit of a panic situation, and, and he just threw it away. He, he'll learn from that, and he won't do that again. Dave, can you recall having that particular issue at least since Winchester's been here? No. No, that's what I mean. I mean, it's been thousands and thousands of snaps and holds, and, and, and nothing like that's ever happened. So, uh, you know, our confidence is with those guys, and they're they're going to be fine. We're not we're not going to hit the panic button and do something crazy right now and change everything. I mean, you know, we're 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 solid in that area. We just, you know, we can't have that happen again. That's simple as that. Wesley, we talked about how McCole's building up to that tight end kill type punt return. Where are you at in your evaluation of whether he should be? He's still developing. He's still developing. Um, you know, you see him still making some mistakes sometimes. Um, you know, it's plain as day. Everybody sees it, but he's he's getting better. Uh, he's, his confidence is building, and he sees it on when he watches the tape and he sees, you know, what he could have did better, and he's very receptive to it, and he wants to be great, and he will be great. How much 
thought this was very good. Harking back on something that had occurred in a previous season and sort of rely on you know, the majority of the guys on the special teams being the team played better towards the end of the year. Is there something in your experience? Sure. I mean, you just got to keep you got to you got to keep pounding you got to keep pounding the rock you know and you have to show them the tape and show them how close you are you know show them like hey just just finish this double team block you know just finish this block and climb and, and vision and and, and you, you look at the tape and you just study it and you see it and the players see it too you have to paint a picture for them and they you know and then we need some we need success you know we need to get a couple big ones and then and then they'll snowball for us at the right time. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to lie to you. That, that was probably the first time in my career I had two bad things happen like back to back on the same phase. I mean, that was an unusual situation. That, that both of them were totally unrelated. Uh, so that was a first for me. Um, you know, it, it doesn't get much worse. I don't think. Coach on uh, McCormick, I know the, the cameras caught you when he fair caught it at the end of the first half. It was obviously frustrating you, or at least having a serious discussion. Coaching. About Coaching. Yes. Yeah. Uh, coaching, but I, I'm curious. As he went over, I mean, he didn't like the rule states, right? You got to get your hand up. And it's not a, you know, I've said this before in here. It's not a set rule. You know, it depends on how much hang times on the ball. You know, that that all matters. No, you know? I understand. And yeah, I, I mean, we all know. I think too, you don't want to stop. The ball sure, now. right. But he kind of, it was kind of seemed like it was a last minute thought on just a fair catch play. Right. And he didn't really get the hand up. So what I'm curious yeah. is, having taken off the run, when he does like this, they obviously gave it to him because the guy stopped and blowing the whistle. Yeah. Any anything above your head, anything above your shoulder, they're going to consider that a fair catch. So, I mean, he was making a fair catch. Well, I, I know he, he wanted to take it back, kind of like James wanted to take a snap back. Same thing, but it was it's too late, you know. And that, that, I mean, he could have let the ball go, and he could have, you know, that's a, the only option he had right there is let the ball go. Yeah, what, we, what we want him to do is is let the ball go and go block that gunner, uh, the gunner, and then let the ball go be a touchback. That's what we want him to do. But I'm waving. Yeah. You know, that, that's a deal. You, is it above your head to like make the? Yeah, the, to to make a legal fair catch, it's got to go above your shoulders and then move, you know, or just you know be above your head. The well, last one, Nate. The um, every opponent gives a different game plan based on their physical weaknesses and special teams. I know you've mentioned that before, but where your unit is now, do you feel like there's some level of aggression that maybe can be tapped into to sort of get the unit on track? I don't know. If, I mean, if that comes a situation, I think to some degree. I mean, I, it's game to game. It's, you know, we, we look, you know, we game plan every week. And if, if a team is giving us something, we'll try to attack it. If not, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll be a little bit more safe. If a team's a fake team, we're going to sit back a little bit more and, and be a little bit more conservative. So it's week to week. It changes every week. We're not going to do anything different now. We're just going to keep we're just going to keep staying the course and, and keep, uh, you know, pounding it. Uh, you know, we've been there. We've, we've been good before. We will get back there. You know, we'll be more consistent, I should say. Okay, thanks guys. All right, thanks. thanks.